Hi, this is Teo from Parkerblocks.com. Today I want to color this sketch that I drew a few days ago. This is St. Joseph Church in Singapore. I've actually created a time-lapse video of this pen and ink sketch. I'll post a link somewhere or in the video description. But let's take a look at the reference photo for this church. It's a very cloudy day, a lot of trees, uh, yellow leaves some cars in front which I did not draw in and then the church itself which is hidden behind all the greenery so uh, let's see what I can do about it this sketchbook by the way is a Strathmore 500 series 100% cotton 190 GSM paper it takes pen and ink very well I've actually used Copic markers for this sketch the extra fine tip so um, this paper you can see the marker actually bleeds over to the other page so you, if you are using markers like Copic markers or Sharpie markers then you can only draw on one page so be careful of that now to start this sketch I will my primary box will be the core watercolors here but I want the thalo green from this Winsor & Newton box I don't have that here so that's why I have two boxes here so I will just start with the yellow first for the foliage at the top which is here and also a bit of a thalo blue maybe I'll dial it down with some cadmium red I just want to make sure that the Taylor blue is still quite bright but not too bright I still want to see the basically the yellow that is coming through the paper takes watercolor quite well but it's sort of like cartridge paper and then I will use Thalo green for all the trees and stuff like that. Thalo green is a very strong green color. And you have to mix it with, usually I mix it with permanent Alizari crimson to dial it down. Okay, let's start from here. doesn't matter if it's Alizari Crimson so I'm just going to do this be careful of the tree branches I want some of the sky to show through and also the foliage at the front is also quite dark so sometimes I mix yellow sometimes I mix with thalo green later on I'm going to go in with another layer of thalo green just to make it much darker so they can see the contrast so the leaves here I just want to maybe dab just to get the shape of the leaf okay I'll wash my brush and maybe go in with some shadow after the whole sketch is dry the light for this church is actually coming from the left to the right so um, and the church has a slight blue in it so I'm just going to use thalo blue mix with some cadmium red just a bit more of that so I just keep the left side of the church in highlight which is in white and then the right side of the church I will just basically make it blue so it goes all the way down it's always good to mix more colors than you need so you don't have to uh, mix them again because sometimes if you do mix it separate, mix the colors separately, the colors will not be 
the same. So you can see now my colors are slightly different than the first wash. This part inside is going to be very dark, so I'll just cover it right now first. Oops, there should be a white line here, so I need to keep that line white. So you know where the shadow is coming from. There's a line here that is in shadow. And also the underside of this indentation here and also the top here which is all in shadow. Next I'm going to use Thalo Green again. I'm going to mix a lot of Thalo Green to make the tree even darker. Okay, um, let's go in and go in with the branches. Oops, it's too, too green. So some parts of the trees are still quite dark. I will just darken it up. So one problem with uh, pen colors is they are less, they are more difficult compared to tubes when you want to dissolve them. So you have to mix them in advance. I think I actually splattered some parts. So this this part here is actually pretty dark as well. Also the trees here, the branches here, the trees here as well, very dark. I see that the building actually extends all the way to the right side. I forgot to color it back then. I think the cross at the top is also in a slight light blue. Okay, the church is almost dry. Now I want to go in and add the shadows for the windows to make the windows darker. In that case, I will just use um, Thalo Blue, Cadmium Red. Okay, that's about right. There's a window here as well. Another one here. So one here, and the underside of this roof is actually quite dark as well. Let me make this a bit darker also, and this one, this line. Let me give the shadow a bit more definition. Wash the brush, uh, there's a red orange roof at the back. So I'm just going to use orange. I think I will touch up a bit of the designs with more Thalo blue. Especially this part here. Just some very light touches along the rim and also this side here just to cover the building so it's almost done but I feel that the contrast is from what I can see it's still not quite there yet so I'm just going to play cheat and use paints gray to really make the trees much darker in fact, I'm just going to use paints gray straight from the pan itself. Plus, some of these parts are really, really very dark, almost black. You cannot see details inside. So, I just want to capture that. Also, this tree behind, which is so dark. So I'm just using the dark shapes to frame what is behind. 
Maybe here I will add some light green as well just to give it some different shade. Give it a different shade and just having one yellow light. Alright, not too much. I think that's about all. This is the completed sketch. This is not dry yet, but I'll wait for it to dry before I scan it and post a high-res version for you to check it out in the video description below. Thank you for watching today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do so for more sketching tips and techniques, art book features, art product reviews, and more. Thanks and see you in the next video.